are many ways for planning a route for a motorcycle trip. The first one would be using Google Maps. You could go straight onto Google Maps, then plan your route, your motorcycle route, then export it into a GPX file, and then, and this is where I see the main drawback about this method. It's because then you are using this GPX file, you are exporting it into an additional software like Garmin Basecamp. And then using Garmin Basecamp, you have to adjust another time the whole route to make it fit the map on your Garmin Basecamp and then export it into your Garmin setnet. But that's not the method I want to show you today because of this additional step. So let's move to Garmin Basecamp. The first one I would probably recommend you to do is change is to change one setting namely the routing setting here when you're going to the setting the routing or tracking when going to this area you'll see something like avoid highways speedways or any kind of this road And why I'm doing this, why I'm checking the spots, is because when you're riding on a motorcycle, you actually don't want to ride that much, that long on such roads, because it's boring. So be sure to check this box. So then, since the whole trip would probably include a lot of stages, you want to create a new folder for your trip, on the left side let's aim it for example test trip because it's including a lot of stages then you're actually good to go the way I do it is placing with this option is placing the first point on the start you can see here and then going to my destination let's say I want to go to Oxa at this step it's really not important to zoom in you can do like I want to go here for example then it's processing so then after clicking on the escape key you'd be able with this simple to move around at this step, I want to zoom in to see exactly when I'm riding through. Let's say the, the start is fine, but then at this point, I want to go to ride on this road. So this, the only thing you have to do is moving the lane onto the, this road. further then let's say you want to go like this everything's possible for that Garmin Basecamp is I think better than Google Maps because it's not changing the whole route when changing only one point and then let's say it's fine the step where I'm actually using Google Maps or Google it's for the um, destination. I want to double check the, the place, the location where I'm landing. You know when you're riding, when you're on a motorcycle trip, you actually want some safe places for your motorcycle to park. And that's exactly what I'm doing, what I'm checking with Google Street View. 
before making my, my route I double check every places, every destination where I'm going to park I want it to be a safe place for my motorcycle overnight For that I think Google Street View is a very good way to, to, to achieve this So let's say the route is fine, the destination place has been double checked on Google Street View, everything's good. Next step would be to export it into your Garmin ZNAV. So that's very simple because you only have, okay, you can rename it. For example, let's say it's uh, Paris trip, Paris Oxa, be sure to have your setnet connected to your laptop. Then you right click on your route and select send to setnet, then again send. You can close it. So you then want to disconnect your setnav and start it again. The first thing you will see after restarting it is this information. It says it found new routes, you can import them. So you click on yes, you can select it, then click on import. And then it's there, you can go to apps, routes, and then find the right route it there then click on map it's there it's on my set nav it's stored it has been successfully exported to my set nav so needless to say that it's very time consuming. Here it was only for one route and it was very simple. For my trip, this one, I spent many hours. But it's definitely worth it. Because I want to ride exactly on this road and not another one. Very time consuming, but it's a very nice software. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again. Ciao!